friends! Welcome to a new happy learning video. Today, we're going to talk about the most incredible part of our body, the brain. As you all know, the brain is inside our head and it is the organ in charge of controlling and regulating everything that our body does. Our brain is always active, even when we sleep. And it keeps us alive as it controls our heartbeats and our breathing. As you can see in the images, it is divided into three parts. The brainstem, the cerebellum and the brain itself. The brainstem is at the base of the brain. It connects the brain with the rest of the body through the spinal cord. It controls vital functions such as heart rates, digestion and breathing. The cerebellum is responsible for maintaining balance and directing the movement of our entire body. And it ensures that the movements are carried out in a coordinated and accurate manner. The brain is the boss of our body. It is responsible for receiving signals and returning them as responses. For example, if we feel that something is very hot and can cause damage, the brain very quickly orders our muscles to withdraw the hand and avoid any burning. The brain is divided into two parts, called the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. These two hemispheres are connected to each other through a structure called corpus callosum, allowing information to pass from one hemisphere to another. The left hemisphere is dominant in most people and is responsible for the most logical aspects of thinking, such as math, speaking or writing skills. The right hemisphere is responsible for most of our creative thoughts, such as our imagination, music or paintings, and also the most emotional or intuitive reactions, such as fear and joy. As you can see, the brain controls and regulates most of the vital functions of our body, but also our thoughts, our memory and our emotions. But there is one very important thing that I have not told you about our brain, and that is, the more we use it, the better it works. So, you know, everyone has to go read and learn. Goodbye, friends! Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hello, friends, and welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today, we're going to learn all about the nervous system. We all know that humans have five senses. Sight, which is the ability to see through our eyes. Taste, which is what we use to enjoy different flavors. Smell, which allows us to smell the wonderful senses in flowers. Hearing, which we use to listen to our favorite music and touch, which is how we feel tickles or soft caresses through our skin. Well, our nervous system is what receives all the information captured by these senses, interprets it and responds to each situation. The nervous system has special cells called neurons and it is divided into two parts the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is made up of the skull and the spinal cord. The skull is where the brain is located, as well as the cerebellum and the brain stem. The brain occupies the largest part of the skull and is in charge of controlling our memory emotions 
and voluntary actions such as reading, writing, or jumping. The cerebellum also coordinates our balance as well as our movements. It is because of the cerebellum that we are not constantly falling down. Thank you, cerebellum. The brain stem links the brain to the spinal cord and controls the automatic actions such as our heartbeat or the blinking of our eye, which happens without us even realizing it. The spinal cord is another part of our central nervous system. It is within our spine and it almost looks like a highway connecting the brain to all the body's nerves. The spinal cord is responsible for all the reflexes like when you touch something hot, we pull our hand away instinctively, without even thinking. The peripheral nervous system is a set of nerves which travels around our body and is divided into two major parts, sensory nerves and musculoskeletal system. The sensory nerves carry information received by the five senses to the brain. The musculoskeletal system transmits the brain's responses allowing the muscles to perform. So, if we were to fall in the water, for example, the automatic system would send a message to our muscles, ordering us to swim and get out of the water. Thank goodness, because otherwise we would drown. Well, now you know about the nervous system. It's really interesting, isn't it? Goodbye, friends. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.